Welcome back to Pro Night Crossover. I hope you enjoyed that interview with Cedric. We got Ray here again to talk to us about what's up in the NBA. Marky Mark, take it away. All right. Since, we, you know, we had a lot of games already that kind of, uh, we had, kind of have an idea in terms of what uh, the team will be like, how our team's really fitting it into, uh, what they'll be like in the playoffs or what they could be. I want to hear, because um, we've always been talking about, it's going to be a rematch automatically, Warriors against Cavs. But I don't think that's true. I think there's more into it. There's a lot mm -hmm. of, you know, better t that have improved, a lot of teams that have improved. So I want to hear from you guys. Who, who are the teams that's best to contend against the Warriors in the West? And then who are the teams that are best to contend against Cavaliers in the East? Let's start with the West with you guys. What do you guys think? Houston. Why Houston? Because they, they I, are yeah. the best Because I feel like they're unorthodox. Just the innovation of, you know, D'Antoni being like, his offense is so, it's either a hit or a miss. If everyone's firing on all cylinders, to compete against a Golden State Warriors team at, at their best, I think Houston is the, has the best chance because of, it's kind of similar in play. They're both good three-point shooting teams. Mm -hmm. um, I think it'll come down to defense, which if you look at Houston, they are pretty good. Well, they're much improved. They're much improved. Year. Capella's out for now, but yeah. like Capella is... Arguably a like defensive player. Of the a, year. He's a good rim protector, mm -hmm. and they did they did a lot of improvements as well in their defensive end by acquiring defensive minded players. Not just Ariza, but now they have PG Tucker and mm -hmm. Lupe and Bob Mute. Mm -hmm. so these are defensive minded players that are that are helping. And Chris Paul, people forgot mm -hmm. how good he is. A really he is. Good, yeah. So they've improved defensively just because of the pair they acquired. Mm -hmm. Right? How are you? Anything? Anyone in the West you think that is the best to contend? Um, to be honest, it's. I don't think there is any that comes close enough mm -hmm. because you're dealing with a team that has what the top, you know, three point shooters out there and they can move really well off the screen. So initially you're going to need really, really good defense just to stop them scoring. And on top of that, you need firepower. And from what I see, Houston might, might come close. Yeah. But it, Harden mm -hmm. and defense, I'm not really. <laughs> you might I'm not. Have off. <laughs> yeah, because what, what do you guys think about you know people aren't really talking about this maybe OKC? Do they have enough firepower? No. And, and, and they're a good defensive team. Like right now, they're top three. So maybe if they start clicking on all, which they have started which to they do, have, so, yeah. do you think it's enough, or it's, it's still not enough to have Paul George, Carmelo, and and, and Westbrook? I think I think they're not as deep as like ro the Rockets, Rockets are. because OKC once the, those three are gone, if you look at their second units or their third lineups, like it just falls apart. Yeah, yeah, so I feel like like again Golden State, like Houston would be the most closest, but like Golden State's still like game sliders to the max. Like and there's no way someone yeah. like a team can match with that. That's why I want to say Houston has the best best chance because I guess their best defense is their offense because when Houston their offense of Houston is I think number one in the league right yeah. mm -hmm. they're scoring a lot more points so I feel like the only way Houston can beat Golden State is to be to outscore them which I think Houston is the only team that can do that and so. I mean even um, Golden State their whole setup their, their starters mm -hmm. they've been there through since last year mm -hmm. and you have these people that have played together throughout you know last season and they reached the finals yeah. but with all these new trades you know you got to give them time to to you know increase their chemistry mm -hmm. and even after that it's just more than than chemistry it's how they're going to play against a team that's been seasoned mm -hmm. you know and these guys still have to prove it this season these other teams so that's, that's why like i'm i'm with the i don't think any of them can yeah because of all these factors even if you get these other teams to play at their best it comes down to just experience playing together as does yeah, that yeah. unit which is hard to do, right? Exactly. So yeah. maybe this becomes more interesting when we go to the East because now we're talking about a Cleveland team that's completely have been reshaped and revamped. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. New roster, except LeBron and Love maybe, and the main core that they have in Tristan Thompson. So maybe this one's a little more uh, interesting. Who do you think are, you know, is there a team that has a really legitimate chance to knock off, you know, the, the favorite team, which is the Cleveland? Mm -hmm. the I would say there is. I would say there is. I, Who's the team that comes in your mind? I want, I, I hope for Raptors, <laughs> but I know it's not going to happen because Raptors, they're not, they don't play like nice when it comes to playoffs. They don't like. Well, they haven't proven. Yeah, it's something that we proven. still wonder. And you see them lose to elite teams this season. Like they're not, they're not good on the road. Yeah. Like they can't, they're not, they're not, I can't see them beating Cavs at all. But who I can see beat Cavs is, you know, Giannis. Giannis <laughs> in the playoffs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But they God versus the, the king, man. They, played, they did. They mm -hmm. were able to beat them. Mm -hmm. and, and it maybe have something to do with the length that they have their, 
all their starters are length, you know, yeah. long, tall, and athletic. Bledsoe is athletic and long. Uh, Tony Snell is long and, and athletic. Giannis, Middleton, mm-hmm. and John Henson, pond maker. Maybe that's the formula to beat a team like Cleveland, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Do you have something? No, no. Well, I just wanted to add on that, like comparing, you know, Raptors is that you need someone to be able to guard LeBron because yeah. Cavs play a lot of ISO. So if you guys can't guard LeBron properly, then no matter how much firepower you have, Cavs is still going to be able to, you know, overtake that. But if you have, you know, one, two, hopefully two or three players that can actually be able to guard LeBron on a switch. Because you know what they're going to do? They're just going to keep putting screens till they get a mismatch for LeBron. Yeah. And then LeBron's just going to dominate that player. Yeah. But it's going to be harder when there's three people on court that can yeah. guard him. That's you know? true. So if they yeah, have that, like, that's why Yon, especially, it's Yon, it's like, a he's, my, he's, my favorite, he's my favorite player right now and he doesn't shoot threes. You know what I mean? So like, yeah. just from that alone, where everybody's like, oh, yeah. you got to look at KD and Steph Curry. It's like, no, if you look at Giannis, you know, everybody's looking at the three points, but this guy's coming in and dominating the mid-range yeah. to, you know, dunks and all that. So he's my favorite player yeah. right now. True. Are, are we sleeping on Boston? Are, are we, you know? I think Boston's not armed enough yet. I feel like they will be. They need it. Do you but think I they feel need Gordon like Hayward? I, I would... If, if Boston beats Cavs, I don't know what I'd do. Because I feel like Boston, like Boston, they will be ready. I don't think this is their year to beat Cavs. Yeah. I feel like they will be able to be a top team, like maybe two years, three years, when Gordon Hayward comes back. Yeah. But I can't see them beating Cavs right, right now. now. They do have, and it's okay. They do have, it's, the, it's okay. They do have the capability. Yeah. They have mm-hmm. two wing defenders. You know, I know Jalen Brown um, has improved so much. And they have Jason Tatum, who's you know been a surprise this season. Mm-hmm. Uh, they have two good guys that can guard potentially, and they have they do have Kyrie who's clutch. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. And if you have Kyrie, you have every chance to, you know, close out games if it's close, right? Mm-hmm. So, so we're, we're not really sleeping on that. We just think that they don't have. They need Gordon Hayward yeah. to really move forward. Yeah. Well, they're, they're, not, they're at, incomplete. They'll, they'll be in the playoffs for sure. Yeah. Mm-hmm. They'll probably come in like uh, second or third, mm-hmm. but to beat the Cavs. Yeah. They're, gonna, they're gonna need the season to. Um, <laughs> they need to learn, yeah. especially like yeah. Jason, like even Jay, even Tatum, even though he's playing like amazing, like as a rookie right now, it's different in the playoffs. He just needs to feel the playoffs first. Even even Jalen Brown, like feel the playoffs again. Like they just need experience in the playoffs, that atmosphere, and just play against LeBron in the playoffs. Because like LeBron yeah. in the playoffs is it's different as yeah, well. It's true. It's true. So I don't know. So Raptors know. Boston, maybe, mm. and, and then we're all going for the, bu- the we're Bucks. We're going for the Bucks. I'm, yeah. I'm yes. ready for the, the Bucks. They have. I, I, like, I can yeah. see that. I can see yeah. that. All yeah. right. Well, <laughs> that was a that was a good conversation. Um, we're about to end right now. Mark, any shout outs you'd like to do uh, before we end the show? Oh, shout outs to all our fans. You know, I hope you guys had a great Christmas. I guess I hope you guys are enjoying our content on our social media page, Facebook, to uh, Twitter, YouTube, and Instagram. I guess you guys, you know, we have so many great content. So many people that come in and provided us with such insights about basketball and their careers as well. So all the Filipino top prospects too, shout out to them for coming into our show. Yeah, that's right. Ray, any shout outs you'd like uh, to give before we Shout out to um, Nina and her show, Gamers Galaxy. I had to plug that in real quick. All right, <laughs> Sorry, we're guys. gamers, there's yeah, 2K. Yeah. Yeah. Keep it there you play go. 2K. <laughs> um, shout out to Southeast Cartel. You can follow us on Instagram, Southeast Cartel, Facebook. Southeast Cartel and my own Instagram, it's Ray G with two Zs. All right, hey, and that's the music. We've been using their music yeah, for the IG show. Heard of them. Mm-hmm. All I've been using is Southeast Cartel, so. Respect. <laughs> oh, thank you. <laughs> all right, so that's that. Um, shout out to everyone again. Make sure you stay tuned with all our posts on social media. Marky Mark's handling that. Call him out if he's given some garbage content. Comment. Yeah, you know, know, if you agree with it, agree with it. But hey, stay tuned and stay balling, guys.